Ted Rubin here, at Ted Rubin on Twitter, and Gary, the question I have for you is about all this talk you've had about self-awareness lately, and I love the idea of understanding what our talents are and what they're not, but my fear is that we're going to get into a mindset of things we can and can't do. Robert Browning says, a man's reach should exceed his grasp. I want people to think that they can try and do a lot of different things, and I'm afraid it'll bleed to our children and make them start saying what they're good at and not what they're not good at. Let me know how you feel about that and how you can incorporate that into your self-awareness talk. Ted, big ups to you. First and foremost, you've been, you know, again, again, back to the theme of the show, not digging fully deep. I'm not completely sure, but it's been really fun to watch from afar of uh, you amassing an audience and people really respect you and kudos to your thing. Um, I think it's a great question and a challenging one. He, uh, first and foremost, here's the way I answer it, this. Nothing completely one way or the other is ever healthy. You should always be pulling from directions, finding a blend. I will say that I think people are way more, at this point, June 2015, in belief that they can do anything, are good at everything, should try everything, should work on their weaknesses. So I believe that I'm being aggressive and starting a conversation that lends itself to like drawing a line in the sand of strengths and weaknesses that I think is very small. I do not believe this is a big conversation. I believe modern parenting is like, hey little Steve, you can do anything you want. Steve sucks at basketball. He can't, <laughs> he can't do everything he wants. And the amount of people that want to play basketball for a living or sing or want to be an engineer engineer, you know, like an entrepreneur. I mean, you know how I feel about that. So I think that, um, Ted, I think you're right. I think right at this moment, my point of view on this is so small compared to the overall conversation that I'm going 100% all in and I don't want to hedge against it with your point, which is correct. Because I think the whole market's hedging against it. And thus, I'm just trying to crackle it. It's the same way I talk about social media marketing versus traditional TV. I believe in TV, but I don't need to advocate for TV. 99% of the market's advocating for TV. I believe that the market, 90% of the market, is advocating for you can do whatever you want. You should try to do everything else. You should push yourself. They package it in. You should try new things and push yourself. I don't think people are talking enough about be very self-aware, know what you're good at, force yourself. Guys, what I, I don't know if you've broken this down. Do you know what forcing yourself to be self-aware, do you know what that process entails? Drinking a shitload of humble Kool-Aid. Uh-huh. Like, like it's insane of how much like, it's why I talk about liking to lose. Like, like it's insane of how much humility I've had to instill to now make it optically look like I have too much ego and, and self-esteem. So many of you, the first time you consume me, some of you, like I'm really getting in my Facebook mentions as a lot of you have noticed. Plenty of people sharing my stuff and their friends are saying, screw this guy, ego for days, full of himself. I get it, but what it actually, it, what it actually is is the post game of me being really humble every minute of my life to recognize what I should stay away from. And I think people have not gotten into that gear. So Ted, I would say that um, I get it and I agree with you and everything should have a push and a pull, I just think the market is way, way in the direction of, and I think that we need a hell of a more lot of like, you kind of suck at that, you may want to focus on that. Now, if you love that, then do it. But you need to know what that comes along with, which is, if you love singing more than breathing, cool, but you're gonna wait tables and you're gonna make eight bucks. And that's great, because guess what? I pay the price for doing what I love in a lot of different ways. And so that's just life. That's just life.